Question one. So write down a pair of mutually exclusive. So that means they cannot happen at the same time. So we could have D and C. So there's one possible. We could have A and C. Right, any of these answers are okay. And then the other one we could have, we could have D and B, because they don't happen at the same time as well, right? So there we go, any one of those three. Right, now find the value of P. Well, we're told that the probability of B, so that's all of this bit, equals 0 0.4. So this one, this one, this one is 0 0.4. So this one here has to be 0 0.09, okay? These three add up to 0 0.4. When you find out bits, write them onto the diagram. It just helps out a little bit. Okay, and now what have we got? We've got given also that A and B are independent. Well, what does that mean? So now we're given that little bit of information. Is that we know if they're independent, we can say that the probability of A multiplied by the probability of B must equal the probability of A intersection B, right? We can only do that because we're told they're independent. So now let's just fill in the stuff that we know, right? What do we know? We know that this bit is 0 0.24. That's that bit just there. And then we know the probability of B because it just told me a minute ago. So that's 0 0.4. And now we can work out what the probability of A is. So if you just divide by the 0 0.4, that gives the probability of A equal to 0 0.6. Now we know that that's 0 0.6, we can now work out what Q is. All right, so again, so this one plus this one plus this one is 0 0.6. So therefore, that's got to be 0 0.2. So got that 0 0.2. Got that one over there. Right, okay. Now let's have a look. And we're told this bit of information down here. It's probably the hardest bit of this question. So we need to make sense. Like, how would you normally work this out? All right. So what you would normally write down is you'd normally write this down. So we know so the probability of of not B intersection C divided by, now this is in the formula book, and I think it's given as like just A and B, but it's, it's exactly the same thing, just, just change the letters. And then divided by the probability of C. And we know the whole lot is equal to 0 0.64. And again, let's kind of just start thinking, well, okay, so what do we know? Well, not B and C, let's look at the diagram and see what that bit is. So not B and C, that's that bit, R, okay? So we're going to replace this with R. And then the probability of C. What's the probability of C? It's these two together. So R plus this bit. Okay, you can write R plus P if you want, but we know it's equal to, well, well P is 0 0.09. So we know that, and we know it's equal to 0 0.09. Six, four. So I can multiply both sides, so just a little bit of rearranging here. So 0 0.09 times 0 0.64. I'm going to jump a little bit here. Okay, so if we multiply this out, take away the R bit there, and then you end up getting R equals 0 0.16. Alright, so that was the that was the first part of the question. Then the second part of the question is what's S? Let's go and have a look at the diagram. Remember this bit here is 0.16. We've just worked that out. Everything equals 1. Right? The whole lot equals 1. So this bit plus this bit plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this is 1. So... S equals, so using that, again, I'm jumping a little bit here so you can write it out properly. But there you go.